Hey, welcome my YouTube friends. So today and over the next course of many days, I am going to be building a gadget cache. Now this has been on my um, to-do list for a while because I've wanted to build a gadget cache. I've actually had this one in my brain for a couple years. I'm like, I want to build that one. Um, West Virginia Tim has actually inspired this one. Um, he put out a gadget cache like this. I have no idea when, but I saw it on YouTube and I said, I think I can make that one. That one looks like a lot of fun. So this is what we're going to do. This West Virginia Tim's gadget cache is a guess who. So it's based off of the kids game, guess who. And this is how you, um, decipher the code to get into the cache. So that's pretty cool. So I actually bought this, all this stuff last year and it's literally been sitting here. I've been waiting to do it. I actually have permission from a landowner that I know it said, Hey, can I do this? Can I put this cash on your property? He said, absolutely. And I just have to make it. So with all this quarantining going on and all this extra time that I have, cause I'm not working, um, now's a better time to do this. So here's what we got. I have plywood. Um, it's not, it is not um, treated plywood, but I thought that I'm going to uh, spray paint this and I have a sealer, so it's gonna be um, weatherproof with a sealer. So that being said, have a hasp, have a hasp, some hook and eyes, some rust resistant um, hinges. This one's more rust um, resistant. Have the padlock, have some outdoor exterior screws, Here's my cache that's going to go in it, some clamps, uh, I have wood glue, all that stuff. And I have, um, this is a new tool for me. I love new tools. So this is, um, this is our jigsaw that we got specifically for this. So, you know, if you have a project needs a new tool. So, um, I'm excited about my new tool, but also obviously you got to have a screwdriver. So that's it. Here we go. Not bad. I have all the hardware assembled. I have to take it off and paint it, of course. I'm gonna sand it and paint it. I have all the panels cut, and this is all just held together with the clamps. But here is here's the box. You see the cash in there. Now this is loose. This is not attached. Um, but this bar I have, I have that mainly. So if someone gets pretty, um, rambunctious <laughs> and shoving that cash back up that it's not going to fall out the top of the inside box. So the next step is sanding and getting it all to fit together. So, and then after I get it all dry fitted with screws, and it's going to be time for painting.
All right, we got all the pieces sanded. There they are. Oh, there's one more right there. That one doesn't have any camouflage on it because it's the inside where the guess who people are gonna go. But, um, just over the next couple hours, it's super nice out, I'm actually hot. I'm gonna wait for them to dry. I'm going to turn them over because I need to paint where the lock is, the inside of that. So top or the bottom half of the back sides. And, and then I'll dry fit them all together and see how it goes. Nearly done. Here is the final product. So this only took me really three days to complete. I thought it would take me a lot more, but here's the front. Um, we have the fake bird hole. Some of it tore out, but it's okay. Um, hinges, I kind of painted so they wouldn't, but some of the paint has already gone off, but unlatch over here. Keep it shut. Up here, I have another latch to to help keep it open. All right, and here's your front. Now I used a couple coats of decoupage on the front. So you have K through P and you have one through four. Um, you read the story on the description page and to decipher who are your two people that you need to identify. So for example, if it's Kyle and if it's James, you come to them, the two people, Kyle and James. So then you take it in K1 K2 and um, you plug it into the code on the bottom. So then you have up under here, you have here and you put in the K1, K2. Now I'm gonna have to put on my hint page that there's a fifth number and I'll have to give that number, which is no big deal. Um, do that, pops open. And then you have the log. So, I am excited. Now, I don't know when I'm gonna put this out. Right now, um, caches are still being published in Indiana, which is, today is the 6th of April. Um, I think I might wait to put this one out until a little bit later. Um, I don't know, so I'll have to make that decision. And when I finalize that decision, I'll put it out, and then I'll put the GC code or more stickers on the outside, so. Um, I am super pumped about this. I hope everybody likes it in my area. I know that this has been in my head for a couple years after I saw West Virginia Tim's. I'm like, I love that. So that is, that's that. So check out these other videos over here and catch us over on those adventures. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye.